Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Welcome again to our 15 minutes podcast. Definitely you are watching me on YouTube. Please, I usually like to ask your indulgence to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me to get to the next 150. Praise Lord. Okay, how do you do it? Press on subscription. A bell comes out, press on the bell, and then you are a subscriber. Now, what do you have to lose? Nothing. What do you have to gain? Every time you are you return from your busy schedule, then the uh, the YouTube will have dropped you a notification, and then you will know that the 15 minutes podcast is ready for you to view. Praise the Lord. So today, I want to start us on a new series of teaching, which I call the Divine nature the divine nature and uh, i'm going to be reading my text from seven peter 1 4 the bible says, and because of from new living translation and because of his glory and excellence he has given us hallelujah he has given us great and precious promises he has given us he has given us praise the lord these are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature now he didn't say these are the promises that we enable you hallelujah that we enable you no 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 no. he said these are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires praise the lord in the series we're going to be getting a full understanding of this passage but I want to read from New Century Version. He said, Through this, he gave us the very great and precious, and precious promises. He gave us. With these gifts, with these gifts, you can share in God's nature. You can share in God's nature. Hallelujah. And the world will not ruin you with its evil desires. How that will happen is what this series of teaching is all about. Hallelujah. Um, you see, you really don't have two natures. You really don't have two natures. As many believe that we do in the New Testament. In the New Testament. I wanted to get that right. Because that's what this whole series is all about. I need to prove to us that we actually don't have two natures. That is what this series is all about. And you see, if you can come to understand it, that we actually don't have two natures, then you have only one nature, then it means that you can function as God on this earth and not be ruined by the corruption that is in the world. Because listen to me, if you believe that you have two natures, if you believe you have two natures, God's nature, and devil's nature then it means that you can still be corrupted by the evil that is in this world it means that you can still be corrupted and that's what we need that's what this series is going to prove to you that we have only one nature so if we come to the term that we have only one nature then we're free then we will now know where the problem lies and how to handle it now that is the summary of this, this this series of teaching so so i beg you stay with us and flow with us in all the series so that you can have a comprehended a comprehended a comprehensive understanding of the fact that you share god's nature and there's no passage of the scriptures anywhere after christ has come and died and resurrected that she told us that we are now sharing the nature of god because listen to me we lost god's nature when adam and eve sinned in the garden so we lost god's nature we had adamic nature satanic nature now the moment the last adam came we lost the adamic nature and we have god's own nature and i need to show it to you and the reason why you need to understand this hallelujah so reading our text again the bible says and because of his glory and excellence because of his glory and excellence he has given us great and precious promises that is very important the precious precious promises these are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature 
to share it to share it not that will enable us that that enable us to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires hallelujah so meaning that already we have god's nature but you are never going to see anywhere in the bible that tells you that you have the two natures but people get it confused and that's what we need to iron out and then you need to understand why we need to iron out. like i said in new century version it says through this he gave us the very he gave us the very great and precious promises with this gift you can share in god's nature he didn't say you will share he said you can share in god's nature and the world will not ruin you with its evil desires so you see if we are only going to share in god's nature when we get to heaven then the wouldn't have been talking about the world will ruin us with its evil desire because listen to me once you are in heaven the world cannot get to heaven to ruin you so it's not talking about in heaven it's talking about presently in a present time the meaning that presently i have god's divine nature hallelujah so you really don't have two natures as many believe that we do in the new testament many believe that we have god's nature and devil's nature in us at the same time because a believer can still sin yes the bible said he said he said he said i write little one i write unto you that you sin not but if any man sin but if any man sin did you see that so mean that believer can still sin now does that mean that we still have adamic or satanic nature nature no capital no and that is what i want to show us in the scriptures and you see if you get to understand that then you you will be in a good position to resist sickness and you will know from where to resist sickness so the bible never said so we are only told that we are partakers of god's divine nature and not devil's nature in that second peter 1 4 hallelujah so the body of sin is actually dead stone dead according to first peter 2 24. <laughs> I'm going to first Peter 2 24. Hear what first Peter 2 24 said. He said, Who his own self bear our sins? Look at that word, bear our sins in his own body on the tree. That we being dead to sins, being dead to sin. So you see, we have we we, 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 we just came from a series on inner man, inward man, outward man. So the real me is the inner man which is the spirit man now i have a soul which is the inward man and i live in a physical body which is the outward man so you see so and i know that my spirit is born again and is fully alive to god so which part of me is actually dead now it can't be your soul because the bible says you renew your soul day by day now you can't renew a dead you can't say you are renewing something that is dead so you can't renew a dead stuff is dead is dead hallelujah you can only renew something that is existing and that you want to upgrade it okay now so he said who is also bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness hallelujah should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you were healed by whose stripes you were healed so that we being dead to sins so we're dead to sin but paul said the same thing with peter in his epistles to the roman christians in roman 6 is here how he put it he said knowing this that our old man this is that now paul clarified it paul said knowing this that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed did he say that that the body of sin might be destroyed that henceforth we should not serve sin did he say that? He didn't say that. He didn't say that sin destroys your body. No, 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 no. He said the old man is our Adamic nature. The old man is our Adamic nature. Now, it's not our spirit man. And it's not our soul. But it's our outward man, the old man, the flesh. You know, you know, the spirit man is called the new man. In the book of Colossians 3.10, it's called the new man. So, so, so the physical body is also called the old man. It's called the old man. The, the, the physical body is the Adamic, is where the Adamic nature is. It's where the fallen body is. So, so he said the old man is crucified with him. Now, what is crucified with Christ is not your spirit man. It's not your soul. 
Hallelujah. It's not your spirit, man. It's not your soul. It's your physical body. That's why he explained. He said that we, sorry, he said that the body, that the body of sin might be destroyed. The body of sin might be destroyed. Now, hear, hear it. He didn't say sin destroy your physical body. Now, hear what he said. He said, knowing this, that our old man, our old man is crucified with him. Our old man is crucified with him. That the body of sin might be destroyed. So it means that the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ is what destroys your physical body. That henceforth we should not sin, we should not serve sin. The old man refers to the outward man or your physical body. And Paul said, Our old man is dead because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. This is what he meant by crucifixion in that same Romans 6 is knowing this that our old man is crucified with him. So, so the reason why the reason why Jesus Christ crucified our old man with him is to kill it is to kill our old man so this is our old man the house you are living in the outward man is called your old man and the bible said that it is crucified it is crucified with christ so if it is crucified with christ then it means that my physical body my adamic nature did you see that my physical body, my Adamic nature, my fallen body is stone dead. Is stone dead. How did it happen? Through the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ. That's why he refers, that's why he used the language crucified with him. That's why he used the language crucified with him. Praise the Lord. That's why he used the language crucified with him. So you see, your, 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 your physical body is stone dead. Stone dead. I know there's going to be the question that why is it that Christians can still sin? Or why is it that Christians see sin if my physical body is dead? And you know what? And that is where that theology came up. Where, um, where they said that we died to sin every day. <laughs> where people came over and said that we are dying to sin every day in other words your physical body is not dead by that theology so uh, so they say that uh, your, you crucify your physical body every day they say we die daily to sin no 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 it is a wrong theology it is a wrong theology now i'm going to continue from there on wednesday now get what i'm saying what i'm saying is this you don't have two natures god's nature and satanic nature you don't have it i'm going to show it to you that's what i'm showing to you hallelujah so already the bible says uh knowing this that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed the body of sin is not your spirit man it's not it's not it's not your it's not your soul but the body of sin which is a physical body so i'm out of time right now but on wednesday we will, i will continue from that passage where people say we die to sin daily no you don't die to sin daily you die to sin once and for all i'll see you in our wednesday postcard when we continue from there